The Yoruba religion comprises the traditional religious and spiritual concepts and practices of the Yoruba people. Its homeland is in present-day southwestern Nigeria and the adjoining parts of Benin and Togo, commonly known as Yorubaland. Yoruba religion is formed of diverse traditions. It has influenced a host of thriving traditions such as Santeria, Umbanda, Trinidad Orisha, and Candomblé. Yoruba religious beliefs are part of Itan, the total complex of songs, histories, stories, and other cultural concepts which make up the Yoruba society. Beliefs According to Kola Abambola, the Yoruba have evolved a robust cosmology. In brief, it holds that all human beings possess what is known as a yanmo, destiny, fate, and are expected to eventually become one in spirit with Olodumare Olorin, the divine creator and source of all energy. Furthermore, the thoughts and actions of each person in AA the physical realm interact with all other living things, including the earth itself. Each person attempts to achieve transcendence and find their destiny in Orin Riri, the spiritual realm of those who do good and beneficial things. One. S Ori Inu spiritual consciousness in the physical realm must grow in order to consummate union with one S Iponri Ori Orin spiritual self those who stop growing spiritually in any of their given lives are destined for Orin Apadi the invisible realm of potsherds life and death are said to be cycles of existence in a series of physical bodies while one's spirit evolves toward transcendence this evolution is said to be most evident amongst the Orishas, the divine viziers of Olorin. Iwapele or well-balanced meditative recitation and sincere veneration is sufficient to strengthen the Ori Inu of most people. Well-balanced people, it is believed, are able to make positive use of the simplest form of connection between their Oris and the omnipotent Olu Orin, an adora petition or prayer for divine support. Prayer to one's Ori Orin produces an immediate sensation of joy. Elegbara ESHU, not the divine messenger but accuser of the righteous initiates contact with spiritual realm not heavenly places on behalf of the petitioner, and transmits the prayer to Aa, the deliverer of ASE or the spark of life. He transmits this prayer without distorting it in any way. Thereafter, the petitioner may be satisfied with a personal answer. In the event that he or she is not, the Ifa oracle of the Orisha Oranmila may also be consulted. All communication with Orin, whether simplistic in the form of a personal prayer or complicated in the form of that done by an initiated Babalawo, priest of divination, however, is energized by invoking ASE. In the Yoruba belief system, Alodomare has ASE over all that is. Hence, is considered supreme. Alodomare <inaudible> <inaudible> Alodomare is the most important state of existence. Regarded as being all-encompassing, no gender can be assigned. Hence, it is common to hear references to it or they, although this is meant to address a somewhat singularity. They are the owner of all heads, for during human creation, Alodomare gave emi, the breath of life, to humankind. In this, Alodomare is supreme, perhaps one of the most important human endeavors extolled within the Yoruba literary corpus is the quest to improve one's IWA character, behavior. In this way the teachings transcends religious doctrine, advising as it does that a person must also improve his civic, social and intellectual spheres of being. Every stanza of the sacred Ifa oracular poetry has a portion covering the importance of IWA. Central to this is the theme of righteousness, both individual and collective. Topic. Creation Topic. The Yoruba regard Alodomare as the principal agent of creation. According to a Yoruba account of creation, during a certain stage in this process, the truth was sent to confirm the habitability of the newly formed planets. The earth being one of these was visited but deemed too wet for conventional life. After a successful period of time, a number of divinities led by Obatala were sent to accomplish the task of helping earth develop its crust. On one of their visits to the realm, the arch-divinity Obatala took to the stage equipped with a mollusk that concealed some form of soil, winged beasts and some cloth-like material. 
The contents were emptied onto what soon became a large mound on the surface of the water and soon after, the winged beasts began to scatter this around until the point where it gradually made into a large patch of dry land, the various indentations they created eventually becoming hills and valleys. Obatala leapt onto a high ground and named the place Ife. The land became fertile and plant life began to flourish. From handfuls of earth he began to mold figurines. Meanwhile, as this was happening on Earth, Alodomer gathered the gases from the far reaches of space and sparked an explosion that shaped into a fireball. He subsequently sent it to IFE, where it dried much of the land and simultaneously began to bake the motionless figurines. It was at this point that Alodomer released the breath of life to blow across the land, and the figurines slowly came into being as the first people of IFE. For this reason, IFE is locally referred to as Ife Ude, Cradle of Existence. Topic Orisha. Topic An Orisha, spelled Orissa, is an entity that possesses the capability of reflecting some of the manifestations of a Lodomer. Yoruba Orishas, commonly translated unique, special, selected heads are often described as intermediaries between humankind and the supernatural. The term is also translated as deities, or divinities, or gods. Orishas are revered for having control over specific elements by nature, thus being better referred to as the divinities or a mole. Even so, there are those of their number that are more akin to ancient heroes and or sages. These are best addressed as Dima deities. Even though the term Orisha is often used to describe both classes of divine entities, it is properly reserved for the former one. Irunmole Irunmole are entities sent by Oloran to complete given tasks, often acting as liaisons between Oran the invisible realm and Aiye the physical realm. Irunmoles can best be described as ranking divinities, whereby such divinities are regarded as the principal orishas. Irunmole, from Arunrun 400, a mole, divinites or divine spirits. Topic reincarnation. Topic the Yoruba believe in Aitenwa, reincarnation within the family. The names Babatundi, father returns; Yatunde, mother returns; Babatunji, father wakes once again; and Sotunde, the wise man returns, all offer vivid evidence of the IFA concept of familial or lineal rebirth. There is no simple guarantee that your grandfather or great uncle will come back in the birth of your child. However, whenever the time arrives for a spirit to return to Earth, otherwise known as the marketplace, through the conception of a new life in the direct bloodline of the family, one of the component entities of a person's being returns, while the other remains in heaven. The spirit that returns does so in the form of a guardian ori. One's guardian ori, which is represented and contained in the crown of the head, represents not only the spirit and energy of one's previous blood relative, but the accumulated wisdom he or she has acquired through myriad lifetimes. This is not to be confused with one's spiritual ori, which contains personal destiny, but instead refers to the coming back to the marketplace of one's personal blood ori through one's new life and experiences. The primary ancestor which should be identified in your itefa becomes, if you are aware and work with that specific energy, a guide for the individual throughout their lifetime. At the end of that life they return to their identical spirit self and merge into one, taking the additional knowledge gained from their experience with the individual as a form of payment. Topic Yoruba religion around the world Topic According to Professor S. A. Akintoy, the Yoruba were exquisite statesmen who spread across the globe in an unprecedented fashion. The reach of their culture is largely due to migration. The most recent migration occurred with the Atlantic slave trade. During this period, many Yoruba were captured and sold into the slave trade and transported to Argentina, Brazil, Cuba, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Uruguay, Venezuela, and other parts of the Americas. With them, they carried their religious beliefs. The school of thought integrated into what now constitutes the core of the New World lineages, Candomblé Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay Santeria Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic Trinidad Orisha Trinidad and Tobago Spiritual Baptist Street. 
Vincent and the Grenadines, Umbanda, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay. Topic relationship and influence on Voodoo. Topic: The Vodun faith, which originated amongst a different ethnic group, the Gbe-speaking peoples of present-day Benin, Togo, and Ghana, holds influential aspects on the African diaspora in countries such as Haiti and Cuba, also southern states like New Orleans, Louisiana, in the United States. Topic amalgamation with other religions Topic Chrislam is a neologism used to refer to syncretism between Christianity and Islam among the Yoruba of Nigeria, mentioned by Greenfield 2001 as an example of the Yoruba genius for syncretism. Yoruba Chrislam includes two distinct religious movements, one called Ifiolowa founded by Tela Tela in the 1970s and 80s and another called Oke Tude founded by Samson Saka in 1999. They are also known as the Will of God Mission or the True Message of God Mission respectively. Adherence to Chrislam in Nigeria is very limited. Soares 2009 notes that such efforts towards religious fusion or synthesis seem to be rather exceptional and increasingly so. In many places there has been intense competition and higher levels of tension within and between different confessional groups. Ifiolowa love of God recognizes both the Bible and the Quran as holy texts, and practices running deliverance, a distinctive practice of spiritual running likened to Joshua's army circling Jericho, or the practice of pilgrims circumambulating a church for Palm Sunday or the Kaaba, and Jews around the synagogue during Sukkot. In contrast to other Chrislamic sects, Tela Tela, while claiming to believe in both the Quran and the Bible, says they are incomplete, and is writing his own book called the Ifiolowa Book. Tela Tela claims that an angel of God came to him and told him that he gave him the mission and the name Ifiolowa, the will of God mission, Oke Tude in Ogadu, a northern suburb of Lagos, founded by Samson Saka in 1999, is slightly less recognizable to mainstream Christianity, resembling more interfaith worship with three different sessions or services that take place on Sunday. The first is a Muslim session, then a Christian session, and finally there is a joint session that Saka leads. During this he stresses the similarities between Christianity and Islamic beliefs. In the 1949 documentary Fiestas de Santiago Apostol and Loiza Aldea, anthropologist Ricardo Alegria noted a similar tendency at Loiza, Puerto Rico, arguing that the affinity between the black population in the municipality and the Catholic saint Santiago Apostol may derive from the way in which he is depicted as a warrior, a similar theme to some depictions of Shango. This theory supposed that this resemblance was used by the population as a covert form to honor their ancestral deity. Topic references Topic Footnotes Bibliography Hernandez, Carmen Dolores 2002. Ricardo Alegria, Una Vida in Spanish. Centro de Estudios Avanzados del Caribe, Fundación Puertorriqueña de las Humanidades, Instituto de Cultura Puertorriqueña, Academia Puertorriqueña de Historia. ISBN 1563282100. Topic further reading Topic Fayemi Fatunde Fakayod, Iwer, Efficacious Prayer to Alodomare, The Supreme Force ISBN 978-978-915-402-9 Chief S. Solagbade Papula and Fakunal Oyasanya, Akunle Abayamo, The ASE of Motherhood 2007. ISBN 978-0-9810013-0-2 Chief S. Solagbade Papula Library, Inc. IFA Dita Vol. 1 Ajiogbi, Orangan Medji ISBN 978-0-9810013-1-9 Chief S. Solagbade Papula Library, Inc. IFA Dita Vol. 3 Oyakuagbi, Oyakufun ISBN 978-1-926538-24-2 The Way of the Orisha by Philip John Nemark, Publisher Harperone, first edition, May 28, 1993. ISBN 978-0-06-250557-6. Alodomer, God in Yoruba Belief by Balaji Adou, Akeja, Longman, Nigeria, 1982. ISBN 0-582-60803-1. Dr. Jonathan Alumide Lucas, The Religion of the Yorubas, Lagos, 1948, CMS Bookshop. Leeming, David Adams, Leeming, Margaret Adams, 2009. A Dictionary of Creation Myths Oxford Reference Online ed. Oxford University Press. Morales, ed. 2003. The Latin Beat. Da Capo Press. ISBN 0-306-81018-2, pg. 
177 Miguel A. de la Torre, Santeria, The Beliefs and Rituals of a Growing Religion in America, 2004, ISBN 0-8028-4973-3. Miguel R. Bances, Baba Eshu Aner, Tratado Encyclopedico de IFA. Los 16 Mayas y sus Omeluis u Otis o Signos de IFA. Ologundudu, Day, Forward by Akinsola Akiwowo. The Cradle of Yoruba Culture. Rev. Ed. Institute of Yoruba Culture, Center for Spoken Words. ISBN 978 0 615 22063 5. CS1 maint, multiple names, authors list. Link. Topic external links Topic Yoruban cosmology and mythology Ibeji IFA books, The Sixteen Mayas and Omoluis Traditional Yoruba site dedicated to teaching IFA studies podcast hosted by Awoyanfa Ifoloju on iTunes West African Orissa Tradition of Nigeria Yoruba movies and films Yoruba theater is the origin of Nigeria's Nollywood, the equivalent of America's Hollywood.